According to Luke Amin's, who found 25 mind-blowing statistics about texting while driving, you are six times more likely to get in a wreck by texting and driving than you are drunk driving. That's right. It's safer for someone to get wasted and get behind the wheel than it is to text. The reality of texting while driving is that so many lives are put at risk when you decide to send a simple text. So this video, this PSA video put out by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration
just finished her first day of senior year when she rear-ended a bus that was letting off two kids. One thing I found interesting about this story was that her father wasn't too far behind her on the, on the same road, but because of the wreck, he had to stop and wait to find out who it was. In a 2014 article written by Tom Cherbini of the West, West Central Tribune of Wilmore, Minnesota, Matt Logan says, at that time, I was praying it wasn't her. Then really realizing it probably was, praying it then at that point that she was okay. About an hour later, when they finally got her from out, out from the car, he watched his daughter be wheeled on a gurney and airlifted to a, local, to a local hospital. As Matt and his family sat in the hospital and waited to hear news from the doctor, they found out that she wasn't going to make it. When they were able to see her and say their goodbyes, Matt Logan says that she was barely recognizable to us, the beautiful young lady that we knew. About four and a half weeks later, they found the true cause of the crash. On her phone was a composed but not sent text message. Her phone had survived, but not her. No text is worth dying for. So now that we've looked at what can happen when you text and drive, let's look at some ways to prevent it. Liz Solson, a blogger for digitalresponsibly.com, wrote a post titled, Safety Tips to Avoid Texting While Driving. And one thing I want you all to start doing is making it a habit of just doing everything on your phone, like getting directions or making a call before you take off and start driving. Um, silencing your phone or putting it in a place where you can't see it or it won't tempt you. Um, and if you absolutely can't wait to make a call or send a text, please pull over. There's so many places you can pull over, like restaurants or gas stations, so please utilize it. And make a promise. Make a promise to yourself and to other drivers that you won't text or do any other thing that could distract you to put other lives at risk. One way you could do that is to take a pledge. This pledge is from distraction.gov and it's the official website for the U.S. government of distracted driving. It's pretty simple. You just go to the website and search for the pledge. You just download the pledge and say it aloud and you're just promising to yourself and to others that you won't text or do any other distracting activity that will put your life and others at risk. So if after all this you're still thinking, oh, I'm invincible and I can text and drive, none of this is gonna happen to me, I want you to take a look, a look at the next few slides and think, is it really worth it? So if you can't tell, that's a car in between the semi and the bus. it's pretty simple. Don't text and drive. Everyone thinks they're the best driver or at least a pretty good one and that none of this could ever happen to them. But all it takes is just one second for everything to change. I've shown you guys some pretty scary statistics, some moving stories, as well as some pretty easy steps to do yourself. I encourage you all to go take the pledge as well as encourage other drivers to stay off their phones. Texting while driving is not an accident, it's a decision. So please make the right choice. Thank you.